Hey guys, how's it going? Give me one minute. Okay, so it's been a while since my last tutorial, and I told you I should have had my um, pirate palette in. Unfortunately, it's a little bit on back order from the costume place that I'm getting it at, so it's still going to be a couple days out. So what I wanted to do with this tutorial is basically show you everything that you need to be a successful Jack Sparrow. So we're going to go through a couple things. This tutorial is going to take a long time because there are a lot of things that make up Jack Sparrow. So we're probably going to break it up between two to three tutorials. So what I want to do is I'm going to start pulling a couple things out to make sure that your costume is going to be accurate and you'll have everything you need. So I'll be right back. So obviously, the first thing that you're going to need, make sure you have your goatee grown out. If you don't have one, then you're definitely going to need to start doing that. Now, if you are lucky enough and giving yourself enough time, then you can actually grow out your whole goatee. I don't know if you actually are that good and actually can grow them out that long, but just in case you don't, I can tell you where to get it. Now, what you'll want to do is you will go to swaggerts.com. And again, guys, I'm not getting paid for saying these names at all, believe me. No one is <laughs> no one's paying me any money to say where I got this stuff from. But if you go to swaggerts.com, you can actually order your dangles. And there you are. This is actually real human hair. They will sell it in either black or brown. Just really depends on your hair color. As you can see, I'm black and you know, took care of that. So, there you go. Right there, you just go ahead and you get some glue. I'm going to look in the mirror really quick. And you just add them in, voila, instant Jack Sparrow. You've got your dangles. These go for about 25 bucks. So this is going to be a very important part of your costume. Something else to be able to use that you're going to need for your belt are going to be your manky belts. And here they are, okay? So he typically has two to three, just depending on what Pirates movie you're looking at. I'm referencing Pirates 2 and 3 and even 4. So you've got your manky belt. Again, you can find this at swaggers.com or even anything on eBay will be able to sell it to you. Uh, I kind of prefer Swaggers. They just do a really good job. That's where I got it from. I'm very happy with it. And they actually, you know, they're, you know, well, they've got to be killed. But, you know, I think they do it pretty humanely. Uh, so there you go. You find one of this, put that on your belt. Something else you will need for your belt is going to be a chicken foot. Now, you can find some of these plastic. You can go to the you know Jack Sparrow little toy sets that they have, and they will actually give you one of these little chicken feet. Mine actually is real. So this is a real chicken foot. Again, swaggerts.com. I cannot say enough good things about these guys. Uh, Julie is amazing, does a lot of really, really good work. So, swaggerts, you will find this little bad boy, real chicken foot. It can be about 25 bucks. She has it on a leather cording. This is gonna go on your belt. One of my other tutorials, I am going to show you guys how to wrap this stuff around there. That way it can look a little more authentic. But there we go, real chicken foot. Cool. Another thing that you are going to need is going to be the Natsuki charm, which is the fertility charm. It is this right here, the Little Mermaid charm. I'm going to get in really close because this is really some awesome work that they do. Look at that. That's really good. So this is actually hand carved. This is supposed to be the vertebrae of a snake that they actually put, and he has this on his belt buckle, kind of wraps this around, and he's got this with him through Pirates 2, 3, and even 4. Again, guess where I got it from? Swaggerts. Swaggerts will have this. It's hand, it's handmade. They have it corded. It's actually very good work, so I highly recommend it. The last thing I'm going to show you guys, if you really want to go ultra accurate and you don't have to, again, this is just something that I do, again, swaggerts.com, pick yourself this nifty little leather pouch. And inside the leather, leather pouch, referencing back to Pirates 1, are all the money that Jack stole from the Harbor Master. So you have your pieces of eight all through there. Very nice and nifty. There's another one right there. And one of my favorite ones. So you have your doubloons, your pieces of eight. So if you really want to go ultra accurate and really impress the heck out of people, that's what I would recommend. So, closing it up. Pirate pouch. Where? Swaggers. Dangles. And actually, the red dangle goes on the left side. The green one goes on the right. Swaggers again. Chicken foot. Manky pelt. Fertility charm.
So that's what you guys will need. And now we're going to go through a couple other things. We're going to do that in a later tutorial. So I will see you guys later. Leave comments. Ask any questions. Feel free. I'll talk to you later. Bye.